Goed. Nou, volgende op die lijst het ons, ons kan nie anders te as om ongelooflike mense hier te hee vandag nie. So jylle onthou, ek het net nou gesê, ons is intellectuele dure, ons vrouwens, nee, ons is baie slim. Ek was nie verkeerd nie. Because our first speaker is Magda van Zanten from Engine. But she's not just any woman, right? She's a chemical engineer, right? So that, that said, it is my honor to introduce Magda. She's been in the petroleum business since 1995. But she can speak Afrikaans and English, because she is Afrikaans. But she is not the only girl. Sorry, you don't have to get it from this, but I don't have to get it. She is not the only girl. I have to get it from her in the morning as a gift that she herself has So that's quite impressive. Bye, Dr. Magda. So if there's one thing you should remember, with engine, you're number one. Okay. Ik heb een boek, 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 bo
uh, ek denk, um, ons het kom raar dat een moeilike paar jaar. Wie sal ooit gedink het ons het van COVID lockdown gehad het, riots in Durban en Johannesburg, as droogtes, uh, al die dinge. En, en as ons vandag hier is, ons het verlede week een functie gehad het, ons was selfs allemaal survivors. En jylle is verwachtig allemaal survivors. And well done. And, ja. So dan is luister, daar is een paar um, klein geskenkies wat ons bykie vir hulle nou gaan, gaan uitdeel, vir die wat goed geluister het. So toe staat jy te recht, daar is een toets, uh, en, en, ons al, um, en, en, en as, as iemand dit nie, uh, die, die prijs het wenig, gaan ons vir Jason opvuil nie, nou hy sê, hy is, uh, is, is bereid om, om opgevuil te word vir, 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 vir mooie hierbare dame. Okay. Okay, so who is NJ? And what do we do? So I just wanted to quickly give you a, back, a, a, a quick uh, rundown. You know, quite like to do engineers, you quite like to fill up at our, at our fuel first service stations, but it's not just that. So we are a progressive energy and solutions partner in reaching lives for a sustainable future. Why would we say passionate about, uh, why would you say progressive? Because we are passionate about progress. And energy, we're no longer just supplying fuel, we're actually supplying energy. Uh, and, and obviously also then bringing the sustainable uh, energy into consideration. We're a solutions partner, OVK is one of our partners, we, we see business as partnerships and no longer just selling our products. And, and really enriching the lives, not just for us, for our business partners, but also for the greater community. And with all of that, there will be a sustainable, a sustainable future for us in, 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 in South Africa. So what do we do? I'm not going to go into reading slides to you. I think you can actually see it a bit, but typically we are committed to delivering innovative offerings to fuel growth. And we do it in various ways, but we look at how do we focus on value, to, uh, to be performance, uh, have a performance-driven culture, and obviously of mitigating our risks and also um, the best practice governance. I'll tell you more about the products and the offerings we do. So we typically have our, our business is in Sub-Saharan Africa, and you would see if you look at the slide, everything in green is where Engine have an affiliate, or not an affiliate, an association with Vivo. We sold our business interest in those countries to Vivo in 19, uh, 2019, and we still have a 5% uh, shareholding in that company, and um, that they are, they're still licensed to use the Engine brand for the next 12 years, because of 15 years of arrangement. And then obviously in South Africa, um, Botswana, Namibia, the Sutu, Swaziland, and Mauritius, and DRC, we are still uh, operating as NG for the earth. Product range that we supply. It's not just the fuel you see. Uh, we, I can I mean, to also just give you, uh, uh, quite likely most of you would know that the engine refinery had a fire a couple of years ago. We are fully importing fuel. We import very good quality, best quality fuel, uh, that we have our own additive, additives for fuel for your, your diesel and your petrol. So when you refuel at an engine service station, you get an advertised product that's tailor-made for your engines. So really good quality products. Be mindful of some of these fly-by-nights of night that would be the good you find. If something is too good to be true in terms of pricing, it generally is. So just a, a, a quick um, reminder for everybody. We know everybody is, is tight in terms of money and uh, and fuel prices is quite high, I think we all know that, but be careful what you buy, because you don't want to have a tractor or something that you, put, that you buy very expensive, uh, a very expensive piece of equipment, and you're using a fuel that's inferior. So that I wanted to just uh, leave with you. But then our Luke's colleagues are here, we really supply a wide range of very good quality, uh, specialized lubricants. So if there's any questions, anybody would like to speak to us afterwards, you're welcome to do so. Interesting enough, Engine also have a chemicals department, something that you may have, so many of you may not know, uh, but we do supply solvents and base chemicals, but also some specialized products that actually go into the agri sector, uh, like for instance, anti-bloating oils, white oils, and also um, some of your, um, your polymers that go into to mulch uh, for, for vegetables. Okay. 
So we have different business divisions. Like I explained, we have our retail department, commercial, our international business division, and then lubricants. On the retail side, we have thousands and thirty retail sites across the network. And um, you know, all know, you see them quite often when you, when you go on holiday in your areas. Um, uh, with a wide variety of different uh, products. I mean, it's literally, I mean, I can take a whole day to, to, to tell you what we, all the retail initiatives. On the commercial side, I have uh, spoken to you about, um, I'm from the commercial team. I look after the commercial indirect business um, on a national basis. So the, the customers that I look after, or my team look after, is corporate, the co-ops. Um, the agri-sector very important to us. Then also um, we have a, a wide range of, of, the, of depots, we call them STCOs, and that would also service your, your specific uh, needs in terms of fuels and lubricants. And then also um, we have our um, direct business where we would supply the transporter or the mining company directly that's managed by a different department. And then the chemical team is also part of commercial. So in terms of the so fuel supply network, uh, and, and this is exactly the same for the roofs as well, this is a network where we have agents, and, and that does not include our co-ops. It's literally engine branded um, uh, uh, um, marketers that market our product, including our own depots. So you can see we are well pre represented in the, in the country. And if anybody wants afterwards to, to find out where is the closest engine a dealer, and you can just speak to us after that. I've already spoken about the Lubricants team. They are also, between the commercial team, my, my team, and, and the Lubes team, we are definitely very focused on the agri sector, and that's why it's really for us a huge uh, privilege to be at the function like this because this is our passion as well. Also, very active in things like Nampu and any agri, agri show that you, that you find. So we say that we're a trusted partner in agriculture. Why would we say that? We, like I said to you earlier, we see ourselves as being a partner, no longer just a supplier. And, and the reason for that is we've, we've made, made that one of our business goals on the loops and commercial side that agriculture is important for us. I think you spoke about it. This is, we all need food. We are a country that keeps on growing. And if this sector is not flourishing, we really would have a problem. So, and what we've seen through COVID is that the agri sector was the sector that we're actually running this economy. So, if, if Engine has established various partnerships with various um, sectors and, and also various stakeholders to, to really grow and, and support the agricultural community, I can't mention every single one of them. Uh, and we've also spent a lot of effort and also donated quite a bit of money in terms of drought relief. Um, yeah. So engine case, I think that's the other message that I would like to leave with you today. You see engine as a as the service station or the, the loop or fuel supplier, but there's a lot of things that we do behind the scenes because we really believe in a sustainable future. And I just want to highlight a few. There's there's so many, but typically in terms of our corporate social responsibility. Um, strategic model. We really look at how do we create value, uh, develop uh, for, for the development of society to enrich lives for a sustainable um, future so that we can all as a, as a community prosper. So I just wanted to mention a few things. There's quite a bit of involvement in terms of uh, engine, in terms of economic empowerment and, and transformation. Uh, for instance, we have a, a, wellness dri a, a driver wellness campaign that we do on a regular basis. Uh, we have various disability uh, uh, um, projects that we support. We have a pitch and polish um, a pro a project that we also do where Engen would then support new entrepreneurs on how to pitch your, your, um, your business proposal. And a, a whole a, a range of other, other things. We also, I think somebody was saying, I think it may have been Crystal, I can't remember, we were talking about the children. Uh, and I think it was uh, Donna. Dirk, yeah. I think Dirk may have said about he wants kids to be uh, transported in an OVK bus. So we see that 
the future is, is in the hands of our children. So in engineering, we certainly believe that as well. So we have a, the science and math school, where engineering supports additional tutoring for, for science and math. As you know, that's two subjects that, that typically is quite problematic. So that's certainly an area that we are, are helping quite a bit. We have a computer school and a, a whole lot of other initiatives. The other thing, to bring it back to the goals, we're also involved in the sanitary pro uh, a project where we would then donate sanitary towels to those schools uh, with that uh, underprivileged kids. So, I mean, they, I think they say that some of these kids can lose up to 50 days of school just because they don't have sanitary products. So certainly, if we can get the, the, the school kids in the, in the room, that, that can certainly help us to grow and, and help the girls to get the education. Because, you know, uh, talking about education earlier, I was actually a bit of embarrassed when you, when you, when you spoke about my education. But the, if there's one thing my dad always said, nobody can take away your education. So if we can give our kids education, if you can teach them something, nobody can take that away from them. I think we're also involved with quite a bit of dis disaster relief. Uh, this is, for instance, one picture that we were involved with the food forwarding, forwarding in South Africa. And we're also involved with Gift of the Givers, with most of the, the campaigns that they also have in terms of disaster relief. I mean, we spoke earlier about how many disasters did we have in the last couple of years, uh, and, and that's certainly an area that we are uh, supporting quite a bit. So I want to pause here, because I think it's time just everybody's going to be serious. So, so maybe if I can ask the engine to stop, just to sort of um, move around. And, and I want to ask um, you to don't shout out anything. You're going to, to put up your hand if you know the answer, and we'll have three people selected. Um, so I want to ask you a question. So what would you say is the engine tagline? students and girls, we may have been like 20 or 30, if that much. 
uh, and in the in the work environment, I think I was the only lady in the technical team. If I if, or, uh, attended any industry meeting, anything like that, it was only only me. The rest was only uh, only males. And if I can say that, I hope I don't offend anybody. But sometimes you have to put on your big girl panties, and you need to get on with the job. And I think this is just a message for for us today: is gender equality is everybody's business. It's not just mine. It's not just a company's. But each one of us have to um, sort of just just get on with the job firstly, but also you have to to, to do your job, your your bit. And if you do your bit and you do the best you can, I am quite likely very confident that you would likely succeed in what you want to do. And you don't have to be the man to do the man's job. You just need to do be your best in whatever you want to do. And I think. Gender equality is really everybody's business, and I wanted to to, to end up the presentation with two videos, and um, just to to make us all think a little bit. Uh, we'll end up up with our corporate um, GM and his view in terms of that. Okay. There's lots of stereotypes within our industry, but no, you can't bring in women here because this is too heavy, and you can't have women driving such long distances. But girls rule the world. I just love the sound the truck makes and the size of the truck. I wanted nothing else. I just wanted to drive a truck. I feel honored to be given this opportunity and I enjoy every shift that I come to. that men are uh, afforded and then the same rights as well. If we do not trust, we cannot grow. If you have a, a strong basis of respect, you will find that people will be willing to cooperate and build sound professional relationships. It is about um, expertise being valued um, and I do think it is about equal pay for um, work of equal value. For us, it's about equal value. And if they aren't given a recognition or space to thrive, um, I think collectively we are doing worse off. But women now are much more exposed, women now are much more supported to actually grow. We also see why it was better solution that they still have this guy. It's so good, you see. It's so good for the future. Now it's time that women assume that leadership role and work on their abilities and become indispensable for what you can do, not for who you are. Women are strong and are capable of doing any work that a man can do. It's perfectly acceptable um, whether you're female or male to be working in this you know, highly dynamic and very exciting industry. It's the freedom to choose. It's the freedom to become whatever you want to become. So, Dharma, I think those by are food for thought, as I say. But yeah, there are a few that will upset me on the GM and the corporate strategy and the economy. Hij gaat zo'n klein woordje geven, het is net zo'n klein video clip van ons. En ik hoop dat je zegt, baie dank je hele tijd, dat jullie geluisterd hebben, dat jullie een groot sport is, en dat dat die twee dames vragen voor hun toekomst komt zo lang. Dat is het van de hart van de hele engine family. We zien je, we horen je, en we staan met je, looking forward towards a brighter, better, and a more equal future for all. Dat is het, baie dank je. Is het nou nog een vis zo achtergekomen? Dat lijkt mij ergens in mijn lijn, in die water. 
Ja, positief. Uh, of ik kan eentje. Mijn kort vooral met de uh, engine. Uh, Corporatie bestuur, wat zo graag af is. Een uh, baie benekte man, dus plantijd. En dan heb ik gewoon gezien wie diesel is ook niet. De helft van Johan. Ik kan niet even mijn diesel afleveren. Engine heet diesel. Zaterdagavond 8 uur na hulle af. Die planters gaan nog door tot 11 uur. Zo so, baie dankie. Blij bij mij tot mijn mensen mij formaal het en verder gevat het. So ja, dat was voor mij net baie en nice geweest. Dat mij alleen geloos nie het. Ja, maar het was nog eens een beetje bang geweest op huis daar. Want jy bestuur nou net en alles is niet en nou breek jou kar rein. Ja. So ja, dat was mij nog eens een mooie ervaring geweest. Ik van mij af niet. Jij kan niet hier een ADL zakje krijgen. Nie. Hij moet hier staan. En dan net hier in zit. Want dan zit ons ook zo boer. Dat kan die ander ook zien. Maar ik um, denk jullie zijn samen met mijn stem dat het dag soos vandaag is niet moeilijk als je niet mensen hebt wat in jou gloeien. And I really want to thank Engine for believing in what we're doing at OFJK um, to create a day like this. And mag dat baie dankie dat jy met ons gesels het, ons baardeer jou baie dankie.